Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a Dollar Tree haul and like an Easter basket haul. Um, I did get some of Logan's Easter basket goodies from the Dollar Tree, but I also went to Walmart for just a few things. Everything else came from the Dollar Tree. So before we jump into this mini haul, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment letting me know what you got for your Easter basket or what your Dollar Tree go-tos are. Okay. Let's get into it. Well, the first few things that I got, I did get some of these little bins. I am actually redoing my pantry, and you guys will see that in a later video. But I went ahead and got some of these bins because I like to go to BJ's and stock up on, you know, everyday essentials. So I figured it would be kind of cool to put things in these bins and slide them on the shelf so I don't have the big bulky boxes. Um, so I did get three of those. Um, I have ordered a few other things off of Amazon to help me organize my pantry. Um, and I'll do kind of like an Amazon haul as well. So you'll see those um, probably after this video. I picked up these little baskets too because I was watching the family fudge and I saw that she kind of had these command hooked into a cabinet and just had all of her like water flavor packets in them and I thought that was such a good idea. So all of ours just kind of get left on the counter because we don't really have anywhere to put them to where they won't get like lost or stuck behind something or you know fall through the cracks of somewhere. So I thought that would be a great idea and it is like a three pack uh, for a dollar so it wasn't bad at all. I picked up this little anywhere tray. Um, Logan likes to eat out of these trays. I mean, he'll eat off of a regular plate, but this just kind of makes dinner time fun. I like to get him these fun little um, dinner time trays just to separate everything um, and make it a little more funner for him for dinner, especially for the things that he doesn't like. I picked up one of these Swiffer dusters. Um, when we moved, I don't know where my duster went. Maybe I threw it away and don't remember, but I just picked up another one. This is just one duster and then it's got the handle for a dollar. So I can use it a couple times dusting and then I'll throw it out and get a new one. So I did pick up one of these because I really need to dust my house. I picked up an extra ice pack. Um, this is just the cryo pack, um, the Canadian chill ice pack. It is reusable. I always forget to take Logan's ice pack out of his lunchbox and put it into the freezer so this way I'll have a backup because sometimes when I forget to do that I have to try and find a lot of things that aren't needing to keep it chilled throughout the whole day until he goes to lunch so now I have an extra ice pack that way if I forget I'm covered. Okay, the next thing I picked up were these, I picked up two of these. These are just a 10 pack of, it says reusable little like Tupperwares, they're really small and what I like to do for these, I like to put like peanut butter and little snacks or something but usually if I put, I, I usually take like, I buy like the big jugs of peanut butter from uh, BJ's and so I'll just like scoop some peanut butter out and put them in these little things to take to work with me to eat with like apples or pretzels or um, graham crackers or anything like that and then I just throw them away because I get their 10 cents. I mean, if I take something, of course, like some little candies or something in it for Logan's lunchbox, I'll probably reuse it. But I cannot stand trying to scoop and scrub and get peanut butter out of a small Tupperware. I just throw it in the trash can. So if I get 10 for a dollar, I don't feel as bad throwing them away as if I was to buy like an actual Tupperware container. So um, I just bought two of those, 20. That way I'll, I'll have them for a while because of course I don't take peanut butter every day. I might, I don't really know. It might be a daily thing. I'm addicted to peanut butter. Anyways, so I picked up some of these little paper cups. They are in the cars theme. Um, Logan is a toothbrush sucker, and I know that sounds kind of gross, but he's one of the ones that will take his toothbrush and get water in his mouth, switch it around. So I bought him some of these cups when I saw them. That's the first thing that I thought of because I think that's so nasty to do to your toothbrush. So I picked him up some of these cups and I'll keep them by his sink. That way he doesn't have to suck the water off the toothbrush anymore to rinse his mouth out. I did get two drinks. Um, the Dollar Tree that I went to here, it is literally the biggest Dollar Tree that I've ever seen, guys. I mean, it was so big. I went in there for a few things and you see all this stuff I'm coming out with. But um, they had these full-size Gatorades for a dollar. So I got Logan one of those. He's already kind of started drinking it. And then I picked up this Pepsi um, for me and Michael. This is just the... Um, 
I think this is just like a, a, a one liter, um, oh, a 1.25 liter. So, I mean, we're trying to not drink soda um, and we haven't had any in our house. I mean, I may have gotten one from like work or something, but I haven't had one in our house all week. So we bought this to kind of share for the weekend. Um, so that'll be kind of like, I think that's kind of what we're gonna start doing is try to drink, you know, water and juices and things like that through the week and then have a little soda on the weekends. That way it kind of, you know, it doesn't completely cut it out of our life, but it kind of limits us to how much we're, we're taking in. I bought these Jif to go chocolate silk cups. Um, I know that they make them in peanut butter and we've never actually tried the chocolate. So it says back here that you can use it with strawberries, apple slices, uh, vanilla wafer cookies and pretzels. And I just bought all of those um, wafer cookies from BJ's and Logan loves apples. So, um, and I think we still have some pretzels in the cabinet as well. So I'm excited to try these out. If they're good, then I can maybe like stick them in some of our lunches. And I did get a few little things of candy. Um, we got these goobers for me. I love goobers. Um, and you can't find them anywhere. I was surprised to even see them at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then and Michael got these M&M caramels. I guess it just has like caramel inside of the M&Ms. I don't know how good these are going to be, but he thought they would be delicious, so we got them. And then we just got this little mini bag of Snickers. Um, I was going to get Snickers the other weekend when Michael and I made our Walmart trip, but he told me that he didn't like nuts in his chocolate. I don't know who he is or where he came from, but Snickers are the bomb. So when I saw this little mini pack for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, I just picked it up for myself. Of course, I had to get some pecan swirls. These are so good. They are one of my favorite little like snack foods and I forgot about them. I have not had one in so long. And when I saw these, I immediately picked them up and put them in the buggy. No hesitation, no regrets they're gonna be gone tonight probably. So we did pick up three of these little Red Baron pepperoni deep dish pizzas. These are Michael's favorite pizzas and we used to buy them all the time from Sam's Club and he would go through them so fast, taking them for lunch, making them for a quick dinner one night if we were busy. Um, but we saw them for a dollar so we just grabbed a few. Michael and I actually ate one for lunch um, and this one is Logan's that he hasn't ate. He said he wasn't hungry so I just, um, brought this one out to show you guys. I just realized there's like a lot of junk in here. There's like a lot of junk in here. That's what happens when you go to the store hungry. So we got these Arctic Blast Blue Raspberry like icy cups. Michael said he had these when he was younger and they were so good. So he got them to kind of reminisce, but he also wanted Logan to try them. And then when we were checking out, the girl checking us out was talking about how good they were. So I guess they're really good. We'll try It's kind of like an Italian ice type of thing, um, but in blue raspberry. And then Logan saw these Cool Pops and wanted to get them because they are all sour. It comes with four different flavors, sour watermelon, blue raspberry, black cherry, and sour apple. And you know, it's, it's easy to justify buying all this stuff because in your mind when you're there, you're like, oh, I mean, it's only a dollar, $50 later. Here we are. We did get a little healthy. We got some water. So we like to get these small packs to send in Logan's lunches with him sometimes. Um, or just in his book bag for like his snack time or whatever. And a few of the last things, um, we just got these two pack of Brillo pads cause I need them for cleaning. Then we got a lint roller. We have a lint roller, but I'll, I have a habit of taking it to work and leaving it there because by the time I finish getting everything ready and we leave and I finally get to work and sitting in the car and all of that stuff, I have lint on my pants again and then my lint roller's at home. So I, I always keep mine at work and then Michael's aggravated because he doesn't have one here to use. So we got another lint roller. That way Michael can use it here at the house. Okay, and then I got this two pack of storage containers. Um, I mean, we always need extra storage containers. So I just try to pick up a, a thing or two at the Dollar Tree whenever we go. So this is just kind of like the small ones. I was gonna get the ones that came with the um, like two pockets, but those were only one for a dollar and this was two. So we'll just, we'll make it work. Okay, so everything I'm getting ready to do now is from the Dollar Tree, but it's like Easter basket stuff. So I got a pack of nerds because these are his favorite. I'm trying to like be quiet because he's in the other room. So um, I picked him up a Marvel coloring and activity book. Um, just has some little like puzzles and coloring pages in it. 
I got him this little Marvel as well little notebook. It wasn't like a plastic container, but when I picked it up, it like fell out the bottom. So I'm just going to take it out. It's kind of like a 3D thing. And it's just got some paper in the inside. Um, so I just got that. Just a little thing for his basket. I got just this one pack of eggs. So I bought these and what I usually do with these is I'll put like some dollar bills or something in them and then I'll either put a few in his Easter basket and have the rest around the house and try to make him find them for the rest of the day. I'm not going to tell him where they're at and if he finds them he gets the surprise that's in them and if he doesn't then we'll just pick them up after he goes to bed and we'll probably still give it to him because we've already done it but the next thing is this glowing flying disc. I wasn't really going to get anything like this, but it looked pretty cool and it was a dollar. So I thought that would be an extra little like toy thing that we could get for um, his Easter basket. And then the last thing we got from the Dollar Tree is, is a cat toy. So we figured if we're going to set an Easter basket out for Logan, we might as well get Callie a little something too. So we just got her this cute little cat toy. Um, so that'll be her little Easter gift. We did just get two little things of the little blue paper to throw in the bottom of it. We got some classic cotton candy. Um, my child loves cotton candy, so he's going to be so excited about this. We got some super sour spray candy. It's just like a, a big thing of different like warhead candies. So there's chewy cubes, super sour spray candy, and then extreme sour hard candy. So he loves anything sour. So I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Um, we just got a little thing of Easter ring pops. Of course, just the chocolate bunny. You don't have an Easter basket unless you have a chocolate bunny in it. And then we got him this Star Wars bucket pail thing. Um, this was from Walmart, of course. So, um, We'll just put everything into this. So the last thing that I got him for his Easter basket is this Ben 10 Wild Vine toy. He has been obsessed with Ben 10 lately and he has all of the characters except for this one and Stinkfly. Um, and I tried to order both of them. I did get this from Amazon. Um, but the Stinkfly was out. Well, it, it actually said there was like one left in stock, but every time I added it to my cart and went to check out, it would say there was something wrong out of stock. So I just cleared that one out of my cart, just bought the one and kind of just filled it with some extra Dollar Tree toys um, because I did try a few days later as well and it still did the same thing. So we're just going to just let it go. Eventually we'll get it for him and it'll complete his Benton collection. Um, but I'm pretty sure um, there's enough stuff here to help fill that basket up anyway. So that is everything for our Dollar Tree and Easter haul. Um, again, make sure you subscribe below. Let me know in the comments what your Easter baskets are filled with and what your go-to Dollar Tree things are. Um, and I will see you guys in our next video.